Hi everybody. We are here in Kyoto, the former capital of Japan, and I'm in the Gion district. And it is, hi Rebecca, it's almost 6 p.m., which is prime time to see Maiko and Geisha, and I see one already. She's uh, down the street there. I'm gonna zoom in for you there. She's right there. I guess she's talking to some uh, customers outside. Just, uh, hi Debbie, how are you? So there she is right there. Try and be as discreet as I can, but. Hey, how are you? She's got a beautiful kimono on, beautiful green one. So she is a, a Maiko. This is a lower ranking uh, geisha. Lower ranking geisha, you can tell by uh, her hanging sash in the back. The, ba the sash in the back means that she is a Maiko. Her hair is also um, different from a geisha. And then she also has the uh, hanging sort of headpiece on her too. Yes, I do. Hi. Okay, so we I usually do this uh, on the weekend. So uh, I did it yesterday and I thought I'd do it again today because it was quite uh, successful. So it's almost 6 p.m. here. So I'm assuming that a lot of them have dinner, dinner appointments. So they'll be uh, out walking around. Yeah, they do exist though. Hi, Maria. How are you? So we're gonna stay in here, pretty strategic location here, and uh, watch them come. Hi Jenny, how are you? Yeah, she had gold and black too. She, her sash was gold and black too, the one that just walked by. So, yeah, it's uh, 6 p.m. It's very busy here. You can see all the tourists. There's so many of them. Uh, the weather is getting warmer. Uh, it's getting closer to the peak of the tourist season. The higher ranking ones are geisha. And then the lower ranking ones are Maiko. So we're getting closer to the tourist season. And as we get closer to the tourist season, the streets get, the, gets fuller and fuller. And it uh, gets hard to move around. And I feel bad for the uh, geisha because they have to deal with all these people. Hi, Nada, how are you? Hi, Jillian, how are you? Yeah, there should be some. Uh, we still have some time before 6. and. Usually they uh, walk around uh, after six too, so hopefully we'll see some. Usually they come around that corner there, or they go down the street, but there's so many people down there right now, they're gonna get swarmed. So 245, yeah, that's pretty late for you guys on the West Coast. I'm in uh, Kyoto, Japan. Kyoto is in Western Japan. Um, it was the former capital of Japan from the eighth century to the 12th century. Yeah, they were beautiful, the ones yesterday. This is called Hanami Koji Dori, which is a, a street in the Gion district. And this specific district is called, oh, there's another one here, guys. There's one right there. I'm gonna wait for these cars to go away. And then you can see here. So she has somebody with her. That's the same one we saw yesterday, exactly the same time. So I'm not gonna go after her, so. No, not Hello Kitty. Yes, it's a very clean area. Very, oh, here's another one, guys. Here's another one. So she's also a Maiko lower ranking one. Oh uh, yeah, I live here. I live in Osaka. So yeah, she has helpers. Uh, when I think on days when it's really crowded like this, they get uh, people to help them. Why bells? I don't know. Just part of the. Oh, here's another one, guys. She's a little tiny one. This one's a little tiny one. She's running.
Yeah, power walking. <laughs> There she goes, yeah. So now is prime time, yeah, because it's dinner, so. They do look like dolls, don't they? That one was very small. Guys, I'm gonna clean my lens, sorry it's dirty again. Sorry, it's not too professional of me. Hello, Loredana, how are you? Uh, Ginny, they uh, they entertain people. They're, they're entertainers. They. They'll sing for customers, they'll dance for customers, um, they'll play instruments for you too. Hey Ky Kylo, how are you? Good to see you, man. No, there's not mafia everywhere. No. This is a tourist street. This is a very big tourist street. The nitty gritty. Who are the people that follows them? Uh, well, these are all tourists, if that's who you're referring to. Yeah, they all wear makeup, right. Uh, it's snowing, oh wow. Yeah, I guess it would be snowing this time of year, so. So the, yeah, they're entertainers, Nada. They uh, they learn they learn how to play instruments. They can they learn how to dance. Um, they're very skilled at conversation and entertaining. Yeah. Hi, Kazel. How's it going? Yeah, they all wear kimono. Yeah. Um. Thank you. Thank you. So. Wow, it's so busy right now. It is just crazy. I've never seen it like this before. There's a zoo over here. The kim okay, so the kimono are basically pieces of art too. What they're wearing are pieces of art. They're worth tens of thousands of dollars. And um, they're actually, here, I'll show you this sign. I've showed you this before. Hi, Louise, hi again. I've showed you this sign before um, where it says, uh, don't touch the geisha. This is a sign that the city just put up, don't touch the geisha. Because they're working, you know, they're, <laughs> You should not touch somebody uh, just to get a photo. And the kimonos are very expensive. They're thousands and thousands of dollars. You should not touch them. The temperature now, it's quite warm today, actually. I'd say it was maybe almost 19 today. I think it was up to that, right, Kezo? Yes, the houses own the kimono, right. They, they do own the kimono and the girls uh, can wear them. The pictures underneath, ah, uh, what are the carrying? Um, it's a, like a purse, I think. Last time geishas were involved, there's also tuna. That's right. <laughs> hey, Jeff, what's going on? Well, yeah, it is a cool sign. 20, yeah, it was warm today, right? Kezo, it was very warm. So. All right, this is, we're kind of being, we're kind of staying in this location, but it seems to be quite, yeah, no selfie sticks, no food. Right, here, let me, let me show, hey, Jeff, how's it going? Here, I'll show it to you again. I'll show you the other, uh, other things on the sign. I'm gonna make sure not to miss them though. It says, don't touch the geisha, don't hang out, don't put your hands on the railing. No smoking, no eating, no littering, and no selfie sticks, yeah. Okay, yeah, so there you go. Kind of an interesting sign. Oh, there's one there, guys. There's a geisha there. A geisha just walking down the street. Thank you. Thanks, Julian. She just uh, went into the oak, yeah, there. So. Yeah, they are. They're beautiful. So this is where they're, this is where they're based in here. This is called an okia where they live, or oh, sorry, where they work, and I believe they live, the maiko live here. Um, so you can see them come in and out of here. Doesn't say no GoPro, right? This is called Hanami Kojidori. Hanami Kojidori, the main. Oh, here's one, guys. Here's one. This is a Maiko. Yeah. No, she didn't look happy. <laughs> yeah, the shoes are the shoes are so high. If you see how, I don't know how high they are. They look like almost a foot high. Yeah, they are. They're very ornate. No, they don't do it for life. They walk pretty. They do walk pretty good. Yeah. 
I learned that there are two other levels too. Um, I believe Nader, the one person I know who had a girlfriend in this in this industry, they said it was about seven hundred dollars for ninety minutes. Yeah, some of them are really tiny. They are tiny, so. They walk faster than your dates. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, well, I did one yesterday, but I've done it many, I've done many of them. If you look at my catch files, you can see uh, the other ones I've done in the past, so. Oh, there's one coming, guys. There's a, a geisha coming, a little tiny one. She might turn right here, though. Yeah, she's going to turn right here, I think. Yeah, she's going to turn right. Yeah, did you see her over there? Japan is awesome. I agree. Oh, here's one, guys. Here's another one. There you go. Why so many? Well, it's dinner time. And they entertain people at dinner time. So they're all going to be going to meet their customers now. Here's another one, guys. This is a geisha. Yes, this is a geisha. They privately entertain you, yes. Wow, it's jackpot today. Getting tons of them today. So that was an Okia there. That's where they're based. Yeah, that was a real one. Oh yeah, absolutely. This is where they work. This, there's five districts in uh, Kyoto. No, you can't just go in. You have to have a connection. You have to know somebody who will refer you. Um, to them no I've never seen a geisha show Maria no um, they I think they can start uh, at 15 years old and I don't know how old they they go up to I, mean, I really don't know but I learned that there was two there's two other yeah really good time yeah. uh, there's two other levels before Maiko there's one level called Shikomi a Shikomi is basically a housemaid so they clean the Okia they clean the uh, the place where they live and then there's another one called Minarai. Minarai is like a, a one month period where they watch the other Maiko and the Geisha, what they do. So there's two other levels before Maiko. Hey MJ, how are you? The Geishas just talk? No, they don't do sexual stuff. They entertain. They entertain by dancing and singing. Uh, they don't do any sexual stuff. They dance, they sing. Yeah, do they perform in the... They perform in the houses, I believe. Yeah, in the Ochaya. Yeah. No, I don't mind asking. I don't mind. I'm just wondering the people watching if they're interested in. It. So. Yeah, it's really crowded. It's uh. This is one of the main tourist areas in the city, so it's natural that it's like this. Um, and now it's getting to be the peak of the season too, so it's just going to get worse and worse. And when the cherry blossoms come out, it's going to be madness. It's going to be, oh, here's another one, guys. Here's one. This is a geisha. This is a geisha. Yeah, I would. Absolutely, I would. No, I'm not going to talk to her. I don't know how many we've seen. I've lost count how many we've seen so far. Yeah, you can get around though speaking Japanese. Yeah, they do. They help negotiate, yeah. I've seen 14 while wow, you're counting. Thing. I would, yeah, it would be amazing. And, you know, it's not something that only men do. It's... uh women also are entertained by them by you know they dance and sing i've seen men and women you know couples together uh with a geisha so it's not uh, strange 
let me show you uh, some of them. So one of these is a, oh, they're coming out of here. I'll show you where they come out of. Not this one, no. These are all restaurants, but some of them are where they actually, okay, this one. They come out of here. This is one place where they come out of. They work and they entertain here. It's, uh, I don't know, now maybe 14 degrees. Hello, Romantic Night, how are you? Yeah, it would be great. Absolutely something to do with your family. It would be awesome. There is one, supposedly one geisha who does um, cater to foreigners. And one of the districts is called Kamishichiken. This is where they come out of too. This is another uh, Ochea, the entrance. Her name is, is an, there's a geisha district called Kamishichiken. And her name is Katsufumi. If you look up Katsufumi and Kamishichiken, she will entertain foreigners. Um, you know, if you pay, it's it's expensive, but she will entertain you. So m most of the most of the geisha, you do have to be introduced. But there's this one supposedly who will uh, who is open to uh, accepting foreigners. So yeah, Katsufumi. Her name is Katsufumi. No problem. Hello. Goodbye, Slovenia. Thank you for coming in. Foreigners is gaijin. Yes, gaijin. Any foreigner. Chinese, Korean, whatever. So. But I assume she speaks English. Some of them do speak English. I've spoken to some before, and they do speak English. Uh, I believe you approach the, the house, the geisha houses, Jeff. You go to, they're called the Okia, and then they'll, uh, they'll take you in there. You paint, yeah, well, they're, I mean, they're not just any norm, they're not just any person, they're a very skilled uh, entertainer uh, and performer of, of uh, you know, Japanese arts, so, it's not, they're not just anybody. It's not like me, you come up to me, hey, can I pay you to entertain me? No. So, yeah, this, are Americans generally taller? I'm entertaining foreigners right now. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe they're taller. Yeah. I'm talking about geisha. Hello, Jordan. How are you? A lot of them. Okay, there's some that's come down. Why don't we go down to this other place, guys? I'll show you. I, I've been showing you this area all the time. So let's go... Uh, Let's go over here, just to give you a different uh, different view. But there's a lot more people down here. Some can speak Chinese. I don't know. I don't know. Good question. They all left. No. I wonder how many geishas have seen the movie. Ah, oh, good question. Yeah. I don't think they'd be too impressed. <laughs> Hi, Florida. How are you? You can see this huge line of taxis here yeah me too I'm surprised people haven't got run over I better not speak too soon I hope it's not me hello Hawaii hello Australia yeah YouTube has documentaries if you look up on uh, Google uh, geisha and then tumblr tumblr is like a little blogging service Tum tumblr spelled t-u-m-b-l-r look up geisha Tumblr and there's a, a few really good resources about geisha on Tumblr. How are you? I'm fine. How are you? Yeah, there's a lot of good ones on Tumblr. There's a doctoral student from uh, Poland who has a, a website he has a picture of all of the geisha who are working and their names which is incredible so uh, you often see them walking here too guys this is called Ichiriki a famous uh, restaurant and you, you often see them come in and out of here this is an this is an invitation only restaurant here what is it called what is what called on Tumblr, uh, I don't know. Just look at look at the first three or four results, and it'll tell you. 
Hey, Griselle, how are you? Thanks for coming in. Three more of those restaurants in Hawaii. Uh, well, no, this is this is a unique one. This is nothing like uh, this is not a chain. It's an invitation only restaurant, and uh, no connection to to those. Thanks, thanks for stopping in, Griselle. We had a pretty good uh, day. We had, oh, I think somebody said 14 or 14 or 15 of them. So if you watch the replays, you'll be able to see uh, be able to see them. It is a beautiful street. Yeah, I love it. I mentioned yesterday. I don't know if, in case you guys weren't here. If you notice that there's no power lines here, there's no power lines at all because they've put it underground. They wanted to preserve the uh, original feel of the street. So all the power lines are underground. Girls from orphanages. Girls from orphanages? I'm not sure about that. Um, yes, it's very, kept very uh, clean. Very, very clean. So. We had a big rush of them around six o'clock because that is dinner time. So uh, I don't know if we're going to see too many. If, if there are, there's going to be uh, only a few. But I'm pretty satisfied with what we got so far. Yeah, it is. I guess so. We learned that, didn't we? Yeah, the kimonos were gorgeous. Seems like black and gold is a bit of a theme uh, with some of. Oh, here's one kimono. Oh wow, these people just came out of here. What are they? Oh, it looks like a tour group just came out of this uh, okia there. No defined sidewalks. No, that's kind of dangerous, yeah. When there's a lot of cars coming up and down, it is dangerous, yeah. This is live, yeah. This is uh, Periscope. Periscope is live. So, hello, Brazil. How are you? Hi, Kezo. All right, one more. Let's do that. I'm going to show you one more. If we see one more, uh, and then I'm going to stop it. So, Because it's getting a little dark, too. Um, and the new version of Periscope is not great in the dark. Hello, Bulgaria. Thank you. Thank you for watching. We are in uh, Kyoto, Japan. One geisha for the road. Kyoto, Japan. And uh, this is Gion, uh, an entertainment district in Kyoto. And we're looking for geisha. And we've been very successful so far today. And I'm going to look for, find one more and then shut down. Hopefully they'll come soon. I'll show you the sky, sure. There's the sky. Make it a more scenic shot. There you go. Thank you for the follow. Thanks. Hello, Istanbul. Thank you. Thank you for watching. No problem. So I mentioned there are five uh, geisha districts. This is Gion Kobu. There's another one called Gion Higashi on the other side of the road. Uh, another one called Pontocho. Pontocho is a very narrow, long road along the river. And then there's uh, Kamishichi Ken where we went to the Plum Blossom Festival, if you saw my other scopes. And then there's another one called Miyagawa. I believe it's called Miyagawa Cho. So, that's where all of them are. It's getting a bit quieter, actually. Yeah, actually, it's, it's getting quieter. Before, the streets were absolutely packed. Hello, America, how are you? So.
Thank you. Well, I think it's the new the new version of Periscope is uh, has stabilization on it, so that helps. Okay, we've got a tourist group here. Got a tour group walking in front of me. Yes, beautiful sunrise. Huh? Love it. Some old car. Uh, I don't know about old cars. Getting swarmed here by tourists. Thank you. Thanks. His buddy guides you in the room. <laughs> All right. Okay, it's getting kind of dark. I'm not sure if we're going to see any more, guys. I'm not sure. It's getting really dark. Alright, tell you what guys, it's getting so dark now that maybe uh, we can't even see, so we're looking for Geisha. Geisha is like an entertainer. So I, wanna, I want you to be able to see clearly, so I'm going to stop here guys. Um, if you guys, I love Japan too, some have tiny ball spots. Are you describing me or the Geisha? Bye, Nada. Thank you. I've just finished the BBC Geisha Girl. Okay, yeah, there was. I saw. I, I know that there was one on uh, BBC, especially. Yeah. Okay, guys. So yeah, if you want to see the uh, other ones we saw, please look at the replay. Uh, we saw about fourteen or fifteen of them, which was incredible. Um, so please check that out. Uh, thanks for stopping in, guys. Thanks for sharing on Twitter. Thanks for all the follow for the follows and uh, for inviting your followers too. Thanks, Luis. Thanks, everybody. See you later, guys. Thanks for coming in. Pulling back their hair so much. Oh, really? Oh, that makes sense. See you later, guys. Take care. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye.